everyone, welcome to Puddinwood Avenue. My name is Bindi. Thank you very much for joining me today. This week's kind of a special week in podcasters across YouTube. Um, it's Podcaster Spirit Week. So I thought I'd jump in and have a go at um, doing some of these crazy challenges. Um, this week is um, today is the first day uh, and it is hat day. So uh, we're being encouraged to do silly things, serious things, whatever floats our boat. So today I thought I'd give um, my hat, my special hat here, I'm not gonna put it on properly because I'm gonna take it off and show you up close. Um, this is a very special hat to me um, and it goes along with my shirt. So this shirt is um, this strong mum. It's an Australian and very, very local um, charity um, which helps to raise money to support parents of children with um, childhood cancers and um, illnesses. It's, um, we, the beautiful Ange is, is the strong mum and um, her awesome little girl Missy passed away in 2020 um, and from childhood cancer. She beat one, poor darling was diagnosed with a second um, and it profoundly affected the whole community here. Um, and so Angie's gone, uh, Angie's amazing, like absolute superwoman, this lady. Um, and so she has created this foundation, this strong mum. Um, there are, is, if you're in Australia, there is also um, a blood donation, Missy's Donors it's called. So if you donate blood and say, I'd like to be part of Missy's Donors, you can be put down as that. Um, and your name goes on the record of helping to um, donate blood to help those children um, with those needs. We also have another young lad from um, our community who has also just recently been diagnosed um, with childhood cancer. Um, and his mum is also beautiful and amazing. Um, so if I can bring awareness to that by doing Hat Day um, for this podcast, Spirit Week, I'll do that. Um, there is yarn in here, I do promise. <laughs> there is a project um, to do. But um, so today is Hat Day. And I'd just like to show you this one. It's Saddle Up for Missy. It's part of the fundraising for this Strong Mum Foundation. Um, I will put the links if you want to buy a cap or a shirt or um, donate blood, um, be part of the Missy Missy's Donors teams. Um, there's amazing um, Facebook um, group, Lammy's Adventures. Um, I'll, I'll put all of that description down below. Um, and I'm actually really proud and honoured to be able to share this charity. Um, it's a little bit of a serious note for a fun week, first day. I promise I won't get serious so serious for the rest of the week. Um, but yes, it, today is hat day and I really wanted to promote this charity. Number one, it's a, it's a such a worthwhile, amazing charity. It helps so many families. It's quite a local um, foundation here. And where I live and um, I yeah I know the girls really well and um, if I, anything I can do to help and promote um, this amazing charity I shall do that okay so let me put my saddle up for Missy hat on properly okay so today what we're going to do is we're actually going to have a look at a stitch um, a sample so it's the chevron stitch if you don't know what chevron is it's the zigzag stitch like this and the reason why I've done this stitch sample is to show you I've been thinking about a blanket that my mum made back when I was a teenager and it was a chevron stitch and I'm sure it was rainbow colors now I don't particularly like orange but I know that this had orange in it um, and I've been thinking about it a lot recently so I thought I'd give I'd show you how to do that stitch um, I've got some really lovely yarn to um, to work on it with and so my the next part of this video is how to do the chevron stitch it's a sample it's really easy to do and I really hope that you would um, jump on and have a go at this you'll be amazed at how easy it is and how effective it looks so I'll join you shortly and um, let's see how to do the chevron stitch see you soon so the project I'm going to show you today for our podcast spirit week day number one which is hat day um, I want to show you how to do um, a basic a stitch called the chevron stitch now I've been thinking about this for a little while my mum um, back when I was a teenager she had made this crocheted blanket that sat on the back of the couch and I'm fairly certain it was like rainbow colors I definitely know it had orange in it 
But for some reason, I've really been thinking about that, um, that blanket for a little while now. So I thought, how about I show you on how to start and do this chevron stitch. So it's really quite easy. Um, but let's have a look at the yarn I'm going to use today. So today I'm going to use some Lion Brand Mandala Ombre. As you can see, it has this beautiful lot of colours. I made my um, six day kid blanket in uh, Mandala Ombre and in the colour way called Happy. And it's kind of similar, but this is um, more muted tones. It's not quite so bright or vibrant as the other one. Um, it's a four weight yarn recommends a five and a half mil uh, crochet hook, uh, four and a half millimeter knitting needles if you're that way inclined. In this particular um, ball of wool, there is 315 meters. And um, I just thought I'd show you how to do this. So Mandala is 100% acrylic, I'm fairly certain. Let's double have a look, yep, acrylic. Um, and this particular one is called Tranquil. Um, I've had this for a little while. I've only got one skein of this and I'm guarantee <laughs> that I bought this at Spotlight. Um, so I am going to use my furls hook today, which is a size I in America, or it is a five and a half mil crochet hook. Um, and it's really quite simple. To make this chevron stitch, you need to have, it works up in, um, you need 13 plus two. So any um, repeat of 13, if you wanted to make it, I don't know, six times, six thirteens, whatever that is, do that many stitches plus two more because you need the two for the turning chain. Um, all right, so let's start off. I'm just going to do this as a sample. We're going to have three, um, three points on mine. So I'm just going to do 41 chain. So, um, oh, that's from the outside. Whoa, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm going to tuck all that back in. I'm going to find my center, Ooh, which starts as green, believe it or not. There we go. So um, I'm going to do something with this. <laughs> Chain my 41, and then I'll come back and show you how to start. Okay, so we've got our chain of 41. And what we're going to do is going to start our pattern. So we're going to do two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. We never ever count this loop on the hook as a chain. So we're going to skip one and in this second one, we're going to do two single crochet. One and two. Now, at the beginning of every row, your first stitch and your last stitch will have two single crochets in them. Okay, so we're going to start with one single crochet in each of the next five um, chain. So, one, two, three, I'm very jittery this morning, four and five. Okay, so we've got our five single crochets. Then we're going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and we're going to do a single crochet in the next five stitches, just like we've done here. So skip two, one, two, and in the next one, we're going to do a single crochet. So one, two, oh, missed, three, four, five. Now that two that we skipped, you put it down, you can see that that's starting to form a valley. So that's going to be part of our chevron shape. So the skip two is your valley. We're about to make our mountain. So in the next stitch, we're going to do, let's make sure my chain is straight. In the next stitch, we're going to do three single crochets into the same stitch. So one, two and three and that's going to form our peak or our mountain so we've got valleys and mountains okay so next thing is we're going to do five single crochets one in each of the next five um, chain 
Sorry. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Oh. oh, lordy. Five. Okay, again, if we put it down, we can see now that we've got our valley and our peak. We're about to do another valley, so we're going to skip two stitches, skip this one, skip that one, and we're going to do a single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three. Um, I'm just rolling my chain so it's straight and it's not twisted. One, two, three. Four and five. So we've done our valley, we're about to do a mountain. So we're going to put three single crochets into the next stitch. One, two, and three. So we're on the downward slope of the hill, the mountain. So we're going to do a single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three. I don't know if you can hear them, my ducks are outside. <laughs> They're wandering all over the place. Four and five. And so we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to do single crochets in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, which should leave you with one um, chain left. And we're going to do two single crochets into that last chain, just like we did at the beginning. So one, and in the same stitch, we're going to do another one. So that is your foundation, your first row of your chevron. So you can see quite clearly we've got valleys and mountains. Yep. And it's seriously a continuation. That looks winky wonky in the um, <laughs> camera. Okay, it's seriously a continuation on from that. You follow those stitches and it will be, um, it's so such an easy pattern. Okay, so we're going to chain one and turn our work and into that first stitch which is the second of the um, single crochets we did in that um, that one here at the end and that first stitch we're going to do two single crochets because that's how we start every row two single crochets in the same stitch one and two okay now we're just going to follow our pattern <coughs> If you wanted to change, you could change colours here. Um, you could change colours and do um, a different a colour change every row, or you could do um, two rows and then colour change. You could have it um, odd and even, so maybe you do three rows in one colour, two rows in the next, um, and, and continue on that way. It's totally up to you. But because my yarn is a colour change, it's an ombre, I'm just gonna go with it as long as it goes. Um, I'm probably gonna make this into a scarf going to be quite a wide scarf but I just wanted to show the, you the sample of how easy this stitch is to make. Okay so we're on row two we've done two single crochet into the first stitch and then we're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch so we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, got a bit of a yarn bath over here. We're going to skip the next two. So one, two, and we're gonna do five up the side of the mountain, sorry. One, two, three, Four 
four and five. At the top of our mountain, we're going to do three single crochets into the top of this stitch here, which is the top of our mountain. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do five single crochets down here and we're going to skip our two. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. I have a yarn tangle, I have a tangle. There we go. Beautiful. Yep, and we're going to skip two stitches. One, two, and we're going to five single crochet up the side of the mountain. One, two, three, four, and five, which is going to take us to the top of our mountain, up here. And we're going to do three single crochets into that one stitch at the top of our mountain to make our point. One, two, and three. Continue on, five single crochets down the side of the mountain, one in each stitch. One, two, three. I'm not even holding my crochet hook properly today. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> Four and five. Oh, did I get both? No, I think I made a boo-boo. Need to make sure that you get both parts of your V, both parts of your stitch. That's better. Five. Skip two, one, two, which will be the valley, and five single crochets. One, two, oh, I've got something caught. If your yarn's fighting you, if it's not pulling through smoothly, you've probably, ah yes, you can see, I've um, split my yarn. Don't fight it, just stop and have a look. That's the good thing about crochet. Um, if you make a mistake or if something is not quite right, you can stop, pull stuff out, go again. How many is that? Now I've got to count. <laughs> um, where's my gap? Yep. So I've done one, two, three, four. Yep. One more in here. Five. No, oh, I've split it again. Beautiful. And in the last stitch here on the end, we're going to do two, there's the V, we're going to do two single crochets. One and two. So how easy is that to do? Once you get into the rhythm of it, it's so easy, you don't even have to think. I, lo I, I love this and like I said, I've been thinking about doing this for um, quite a while. I've been remembering, I'm not sure why it's popped into my head, um, but I've been thinking about um, the chevron blanket my mum made when we, we were when we were teenagers, when I was a teenager, and it's just, just been sitting in my head. I'm certain though that mum's was in double crochet, but you could do it in um, single crochet like this, you could do it in half double crochets, you can do it in double crochets. It will all be absolutely beautiful. It's such an easy, simple basic stitch to do. All right, let's turn it and let's go another one. Okay, so we're gonna chain one. We're gonna turn our work. Or did I turn my work already? I did, didn't I? Oh, seriously, today's a day. Okay, so I'm going to <laughs> chain one and I'm going to, wow, totally threw myself for a loop there and I had to stop and pull it out and see where I was up to. <laughs> All right, so we're going to chain one and turn our work. Into this first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets because that's how we start and end every row, one and two. And we're just going to continue our pattern. So we're going to go five single crochets up the mountain. Up, no, we're going down the mountain. So 
one, two, three, four, and five. So at the bottom of our valley, we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're gonna go five single crochets up the side of the mountain. So one, two, three, four, five. We're at our apex now, the top of our mountain. We're going to do three single crochets into that stitch at the top. So we've got our point. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do, we're going down the side of the mountain into our valley. We're going to do five single crochets into each stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're in the valley. Got to keep flipping it over. So we're in the valley, so we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to single crochet up the side of the mountain. One, two, three, four, and five. We're at the apex, so we're going to do three single crochets into this stitch. One, two, and three to make our point. And we're going down the side of the hill. So one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. So one, two, oh, I'm going to split my arm. Oh, there we go. Three, four, and five. Skip our two in the bottom of the valley. Skip, skip, and five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, which leaves us with one stitch at the end. There's our V. We're going to do two single crochets into our last stitch. So one and two. Okay, let's do one more round. You can see it's really starting to come along quite nicely. Okay, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and exactly the same. The whole way we're just going to follow this pattern. So we're going to two double crochet, no, two single crochets into the same stitch, our very first stitch of the row, one and two. We're then gonna go um, five crochets down the um, valley. So Five single crochets, so one, two, three, four, and five. We're at the bottom of our valley, so we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to do five single crochets up the side of the mountain. One, two, Split my yarn. Three, four, and five. We're at the apex of our mountain. So to keep that point, we're going to do three single crochets into the same stitch at the top. One, two, and three. Five single crochets down the side of the mountain. One, oh, I've split, two, three, four, and five. We're at our bottom of our valley, so we're going to skip two. 
<laughs> the duck suggests at the door. Hey, ducky duckies! All right, so we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to five single crochets up the side of the mountain. If you can count to five, you can do the stitch. One, and two, <laughs> the ducks. <sighs> Sorry, they're such a distraction. Three, four, Five, what are they up to? What are those ducks doing, Nard? We're at our top of our mountain. We're gonna do three single crochets into the top to make our point. One, two, and three. We're going to do five single crochets down into the valley. Yeah, go see what those ducks are doing, Lilla. One, they're playing with the drain pipe out the side here, I can hear them. Two. <laughs> now they're running because the oil's gone out. Three. Four. Five. I'm sorry, my ducks um, bring me joy. They make me happy. They're so, such personalities. They get into such crazy mischief. I live in a tin shed. If they're outside here, we can hear everything that they're doing. They're crazy. I love them so much. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're getting into a color change. Okay, sorry. I'm excitement plus today. I'm all over the place, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're at the bottom of our valley. We're gonna skip two, one, two. And we're gonna do five up the side of our mountain. One, two, three, four, Five. You need to be careful because sometimes you think, oh, I haven't done enough and where's my, I've only done five and I don't have a stitch. Always turn your work to the side. That st stitch that's on the end here, you'll always see the V. That's what we're looking for. So that's what we're working into. Under both strands of yarn, it makes up that top of that stitch. And we're going to do two single crochets into there. One. I was going to stop here, but because we're in a color change, I'm going to keep going. Okay. That is so easy, so simple, so quick. If I wasn't talking, I'd be going faster. But you can see too, because you're doing that um, double crochet, the two single crochets at the end, our edges are very, very straight. Okay, so there's no bumpy, winky, wonky gaps or bumps out or you can't miss a stitch. If you do that two single crochets into the last stitch, um, your edges will be super, super straight. All right, let's do another row so that we can get into the blue and we can see what it looks like. Um, again, you can color change. If you wanted to um, have a rainbow um, blanket, like, like I said, like mum made, you can change every row, every second row, every third row, totally up to you. Um, I'm just gonna follow along with my, um, my mandala here. All right, so we're going to chain one. I want to get into this blue so you can see what it looks like when we do change colors. And we're going to two single crochets into the first stitch of the row. So one and two. And I'm going to five single crochets, one in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, <laughs> four, the ducks are out the side again. Five, we're gonna skip two. One, two, we're going to go up the side of the mountain. We're gonna do five. One single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're at the mountain's apex, so we're going to keep our top nice and pointy. We're going to do three single crochets into that same stitch to make our point one two and three here comes the blue it's coming and we're going to do five single crochets down the side of our mountain one two three four and five we're in our valley so we're going to skip two, one, two, 
and we're going to go up the side of the mountain one single crochet in each stitch so one two three four and five two into the top of the stitch here three into this stitch hold that thought okay I'm back sorry about that distraction it's life with ducks <laughs> ducks and dogs all right so we're at the apex of our mountain we're going to do three single crochets into the top one two and three and we're going to do five single crochets down the side of our mountain into the valley one two three four and five skip two skip skip and five up the side of the next mountain if there was one one two rooster's going off his nut two now three four, five, oh, five, and we need to find our V on the end so we can do our two single crochets into our last stitch. One and two. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna do a few more rows uh, and come back and just show you. I might see if I can get to the next color and um, come back and show you um, and I hope that you try this this is actually a really good simple stitch it's great for baby blankets because there are no holes for little fingers or toes to get caught into um, and it's a I say mindless mindless um, project because um, I find um, um, I think not I find because I haven't done it yet but I think sitting in front of a TV, just going five, skip two, five, do three, five, skip two, five, do three. I think that that would be um, something really good that you can sit and watch a TV show with um, and not get too distracted about having to count, how, having to um, worry about fancy stitches. And again, look at how awesome our, um, our sides are. They're nice and straight. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a few more rows and come back and show you what it looks like at the end. So I'll see you very shortly. Okay, so here you can see a few more rows, the green and the blue together. Um, it really is such an easy, easy pattern. The mountains are quite defined, your valleys are quite defined, and bonus points, your edges are nice and straight, and you don't need to do a border because the bottom and the top um, will be a great border on their own. You don't need to do anything else to it. Such an easy, easy, um, simple stitch to master. This is a chevron stitch. Um, let me know below if you have a go at this, what you've made with it, what colours you've used, um, whether you changed, um, changed colour between every row, whether you decided to do what I'm doing and going with a variegated yarn and ombre like this one. Um, but thank you very much for joining me. Okay, so that was the chevron stitch. I hope that you um, have a go at this. It really is very, very simple. Um, works up quite quick. Again, you can do it in single crochet, um, half double crochet, double crochet, whatever floats your boat. Of course, the bigger the stitch, um, the, the longer it's going to be, the faster it's going to work up. Just remember that it's going to have a different drape. It's going to have a different um, uh, hole size in between each stitch if you change the stitch from single to say a double crochet um, and I'd like to thank you all for joining me on today's first um, edition first episode of pod what's it called podcaster spirit week um, obviously it's an American thing um, I follow a lot of amazing uh, American um, podcasters and crochet people uh, I can't say just ladies because there's a couple of awesome guys on there too. So Mikey from the Crochet Crowd, um, 
And of course, Craig, who is Fibre Spider, he is amazing. Please check out his channel. Um, Llama Mama Kayla is uh, actually started the idea off for this podcast this week. She is phenomenal. Um, Nova Gnome Creations. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Crystal from Bag of Day is following this one as well. Um, I think also maybe, um, I oh, can't think of what her channel is called. Chronically Crochet, her name is Crystal as well, different lady. Um, so if you have a look at the hashtag, it will give you a range of different podcasts you can go and have a look at and um, join in the fun. Today is hat day. Here we go, saddle up for Missy. Um, all the, all the um, details for this and this strong mum um, charity are below. And tomorrow, oh, let's see what happens with tomorrow. Tomorrow is pyjama day. I don't know. The one I'm really worried about is Ugly Shirt Day and Crazy Hair Day. My hair has a life of its own. It does its own thing. It's always crazy. But we'll see what happens. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you to, I've got a few more new subscribers. Um, thank you my, very much for joining me and joining my, um, my little YouTube channel here. And um, I hope to see you next time. Have fun with this. Let me know below if you have um, made something, attempted this um, chevron stitch. Um, hit, hit that like button on your way out, leave me a comment, and um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Thanks again for watching. Click the like button if you like what you've seen today, and leave a comment below. Have I inspired you to have a go at your own project? Remember to click on the subscribe icon, and also the notification bell, so you'll know when I post my next video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!